Thank you and welcome back to the second segment of the show for today. We're talking to Dr. Helen Barrett, the Dean of the Graduate School at Tennessee State University. And of course, Dr. Barrett, before we had our first commercial break, we promised that we would give you an opportunity to sort of expand upon uh, some of the programs and activities in the Graduate School at, at Tennessee State University because we're sure that there are individuals who are watching this morning who are interested in uh, furthering their education and this certainly seems to me to be one of the ways to do it. Let's talk about it from that perspective. Okay, uh, I would like to talk to you, Dr. Haney, and to our audience about the breadth of the programs, mm -hmm. the scope of the various mm -hmm. programs. I want to be sure that I touch them all mm -hmm. because I think people might be surprised mm -hmm. and very pleased mm -hmm. to learn mm -hmm. about the, the breadth of the programs, and I want to be sure not mm -hmm. to forget any of them. Mm -hmm. um, and I w I, I'll go through them uh, alphabetically. We do have, uh, I'll go through them by schools. We have mm -hmm. a School of Agriculture and mm -hmm. Consumer Sciences. Um, and, and there we have Agricultural Sciences, mm -hmm. which is a longstanding program at TSU, as well as Family and mm -hmm. Consumer mm -hmm. Sciences. Uh, in Allied Health, we have Speech Pathology and Audiology, and we have Physical Therapy. Um, and the Physical Therapy program is newly on board at the master's level. In Arts and Sciences, we have some of the kinds of traditional Arts mm -hmm. and Sciences master's programs such as biology at the master's level, biological sciences at the PhD level, chemistry master's degree, master of criminal justice, mm -hmm. master of in, in English, master's degree in music education, mm -hmm. and a master's in mathematical sciences. Mm -hmm. In business, we have an MBA program, and that is, of course, one of our accredited mm -hmm. program, mm -hmm. of our, one of our many accredited programs. In mm -hmm. just a minute, I would like to talk to you more mm -hmm. about accreditation. When we get to education, there is a host of offerings. Mm -hmm. uh, in educational administration, we have a doctoral degree in administration mm -hmm. and supervision, which has concentrations in the K-12 through education mm -hmm. as well, well as higher education administration. We have human, uh, the Department of Human Performance and mm -hmm. Sports Sciences has a degree in health, physical education, and recreation. Mm -hmm. Psychology has a number of programs. Of course, that is my uh, discipline. Mm -hmm. I know uh, more about that than probably mm -hmm. any of the others. We have a doctoral program mm -hmm. that uh, encompasses co uh, concentrations in counseling Good. psychology okay. mm -hmm. and school psychology. We have a uh, guidance and counseling program that offers the master's degree. The uh, master's degree. Um, and then s master's programs in psychology, in mm -hmm. counseling psychology as well as uh, school psychology, which also has, a, the school mm -hmm. psych program also has an educational specialist program. I'll mention right now that our uh, psychology program has mm -hmm. recently received American Psychological Association mm -hmm. accreditation. Mm -hmm. They accredit professional psychology programs at the doctoral level. Mm -hmm. And the counseling psychology program mm -hmm. received that very, very great distinction. Mm -hmm. Um, so I thought I would mention that. I will mm -hmm. get back to accreditation mm -hmm. uh, later. The Department of Teaching and Learning mm -hmm. uh, has programs in curriculum instruction, as I mentioned, at, uh, with numerous concentrations, including uh, English as a sec uh, second language, mm -hmm. programs in reading and adult education, special education, elementary education. It would take me a while to go mm -hmm. through all of those. Oh, special education mm -hmm. as well. Programs at the doctoral mm -hmm. level and at the master's mm -hmm. level. Leaving education, we have the College of Engineering, Technology, and Computer mm -hmm. Science. And in that area, uh, there are ma there's a master's program in engineering. Mm -hmm. And also uh, programs in computer information systems mm -hmm. engineering. Mm -hmm. And there is a master's program in that area, as well as a recently uh, begun doctoral program mm -hmm. in computer information mm -hmm. systems engineering and we have just uh, this past year admitted our first students mm -hmm. into that program um, and uh, then there is the Institute of Government mm -hmm. and they also house one of our doctoral programs mm -hmm. the doctoral program in public administration mm -hmm. and they also have a master's program mm -hmm. in public administration and finally there's nursing there is an, uh, a master's degree in nursing with a concentration, one of the few in the country, in holistic nursing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So 
in, in giving you that rundown, I've given you the breadth of programs mm -hmm. that we have at Tennessee State University. Mm -hmm. And as I said, I think that it's probably an mm -hmm. eye-opener mm -hmm. for people to learn mm -hmm. that this scope mm -hmm. is right here, mm -hmm. right here in Nashville, uh, mm -hmm. probably just a couple of miles from downtown Nashville, mm -hmm. uh, and, and very, very available. Now, how accessible are these uh, programs these, uh, to the uh, general community? Uh, well, you mean in terms of admission the admission, standards? Not only uh, admission standards, but how can they get to these programs? And uh, 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 what are the hours that you might okay. be able well to that, offer that, those courses? Okay, well, that's one of uh, there, there are many special features of our programs mm -hmm. that I think make them very unique and very mm -hmm. appealing. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them is that most of our graduate mm -hmm. courses are offered in the evening. Good after 4.30, and that has been a practice of long standing mm -hmm. with our graduate programs at Tennessee mm -hmm. State mm -hmm. University. We have been able to appeal to um, mm -hmm. uh, working adults as well as mm -hmm. traditional students. Mm -hmm. In fact, many of our, of our students are uh, uh, employed in the community. Mm -hmm. They are outstanding uh, uh, members of the, in the workforce mm -hmm. uh, in many different professions, and they want to continue their education. Mm -hmm but they want to continue to, 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 to keep their jobs. And so mm -hmm. we, are, we, we are enable our students to go part-time, or if they choose, they can go full-time. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's one of the uh, convenience features. We also have evening programs. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sorry, we also have weekend, weekend programs. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, many of them are on the uh, downtown, or, or the uh, better known as the Williams campus, mm -hmm. um, which is, right, uh, is a stone's throw from the state capitol. Mm -hmm. And we have some emerging online programs. Mm -hmm. We have uh, one that is beginning, uh, just kind of beginning right now in mm -hmm. e education, and the other, which should start next fall, which is a program in nursing. Mm -hmm. uh, an online degree, uh, our nursing master's program mm -hmm. will be online. We also have a number of off-campus sites. Mm -hmm. We offer programs at Vol, Vol State Community mm -hmm. College. We have some courses at McGavick High School and in some of the surrounding counties uh, and mm -hmm. high schools like Win Winchester. Hickman County, mm -hmm. Portland, and there are a number of other sites where we bring some of our master's mm -hmm. programs and some EDS uh, uh, courses. So accessibility mm -hmm. is something mm -hmm. that we feel is, uh, uh, we do a good job with, and we're, we're actually moving, uh, in, uh, tr trying to take great, make greater mm -hmm. strides in terms of making mm -hmm. our programs accessible and convenient. Mm -hmm. For example, we are looking at the one-stop shopping concept good. so mm -hmm. that students can come and they can get admitted and register, uh, enroll, pay mm -hmm. their fees, and so on in one location mm -hmm. so, they, th so that it makes it extremely mm -hmm. convenient for people, working adults especially, non-traditional mm -hmm. students mm -hmm. who are very, very busy people. Mm -hmm. Very good. And of course, uh, we're getting ready for our uh, second commercial break here, mm -hmm. Dr. Barrett, after which we'll come back and give you an opportunity to uh, talk about some of the other things that you'd like to talk about. But it is apparent that uh, Tennessee State University's uh, graduate school not only reaching out to the uh, community, but doing it in a way that can be quite reasonable in terms of financial support. And of course, we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. <laughs> 